Hello friends, welcome back to my channel and welcome to another Tumblr tutorial. If it's your first time here, my name is Mal and I make Tumblr tutorials here on YouTube every single week and I'm so happy that you're here. In today's video, we're going to be doing a kind of toned down pastel neon design. I am really, really excited about this one. It turned out better than I had envisioned in my head and I really hope that you like it as well. I hope you're inspired by the design and by the message. So if you like it, make sure you let me know down below in the comments and hit that thumbs up button as well. And if you're not already subscribed to my channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button while you're down there too. I'll have a list of all the products I'm using in this video down below in the description box. I'll also have links to my Facebook group, my Patreon group, and all of my social media pages if you'd like to follow along with me anywhere else. Okay, I think that's it. I really hope you enjoy the video. Let's go! We're gonna get started with a 30 ounce camper mug from Craft Haven, one of my favorite styles from them. And we're gonna use this pastel leopard print vinyl. This is from Smashing Ink Vinyl. And I'm gonna start by doing a full wrap on the cup. I do have a more in-depth tutorial on how I do a full wrap on a mug, um, but I'll show you how I do it here. If you want a little bit more detail, I will link that video down in the description box below so you can watch both if you want to. So I'm gonna start by peeling back one little sliver of the backing, maybe about an inch to two inches, and cutting that off so I have a little line of the vinyl exposed. And I'm gonna line that edge of the vinyl right up against one side of my handle. And then I'm gonna place it as straight as I can, wrap it around just to make sure everything lines up. And I'm gonna start to smooth my vinyl onto my cup. Now you can either use your thumbs like I was doing there, or you can take a felt edged vinyl scraper tool or squeegee and gently push the vinyl onto your cup as I'm doing here. I find that this way gives me a whole lot less bubbles, a lot less trouble, and I've been really preferring to do things this way lately. Once I get to the end where the handle is, I'm gonna cut off the rest of the backing just so it's not in my way, and then I'm gonna remove that backing, whatever's left of my vinyl, and gently press the vinyl down onto the handle so that I can see where it goes. And then I'm gonna take my craft knife and just cut a little slit in my vinyl right where it meets up with the handle. So I'm left with three pieces. So the bottom piece is just gonna go straight down onto the cup, just like normal. I'll cut off the excess here. And we should really not have to worry too, too much about a seam. There will be a little bit of the seam, but it's not so noticeable that it's like, oh my gosh, look at that seam, you know? So then at the very top of the cup, I'm gonna do the same thing I did on the bottom. And now for this middle piece, I'm gonna go in with my craft knife again and cut on the inside of that handle just a tiny, tiny little slit so that we can work this middle slit or sliver of vinyl through that handle. So this little piece is gonna end up getting cut off completely, maybe like a quarter of an inch. You really don't wanna cut off too much. You don't wanna have any gapping in your wrap, um, but cutting that off will make it a whole lot easier to get that through that handle and avoid any lifting or you know awkwardness in that little area so then i'm going to smooth everything down with my scraper tool again cut off the excess and then i'll get rid of those two little pieces that are up against that handle those two little horns that are like up there by the handle i'll just cut those right off and everything should line up pretty flush right up against that handle so then i'm going to finish off the cup the same way i normally do up at the top i'm going to use my heat gun to pull that vinyl really tightly up over that top rim and then take my craft knife and cut off all of that excess. Then go in with my same craft knife again at about a 45 degree angle and cut off all of the excess up at the top so that we're left with a tiny, tiny little sliver of stainless steel, which will help us form our epoxy seal on the cup to prevent any issues down the road. I'm also gonna use my heat gun down at the bottom of the cup to pull that vinyl down under that bottom rim and make sure we get a really good seal and seamless finish from the sides of the cup down to the bottom. And then I'm gonna go right into my first coat of epoxy. This coat does not have to be thick. I really just wanna get that vinyl sealed in. So maybe about 15 milliliters on this 30 ounce cup. Really doesn't need to be a thick coat. So once we've got this on, our vinyl is sealed and we can start to work on the bottom and the handle of the cup. Now I am gonna glitter this. So I did sand this down just a little bit to make sure it was smooth, especially on the bottom. And then I wiped it down with some rubbing alcohol. 
And I got this fluorescent pink craft paint at Hobby Lobby thinking maybe this would be a good alternative to the neon spray paints that I've been using so much recently. And unfortunately, I was a little bit disappointed with these. I think you probably could make them work though if you base painted whatever you wanted to use this paint on with white. It might pop a little bit more and look a little bit less. Um, it kind of looks just to me like kind of ashy. Like you know how when paint dries sometimes it gets that weird finish on it that's not quite right. So I put two coats of the paint on and then I decided, you know what, I'm just gonna take this off. So I used some rubbing alcohol, took the paint off, um, and then I spray painted it with my trusty fluorescent fuchsia spray paint from Montana Colors. I know that this is sold out, but there is a good alternative, I think at Hobby Lobby, a spray paint um, that's neon pink that's pretty good. So I would check that out um, if you don't have a neon pink spray paint. So now we're going to glitter the handle and the bottom. For the adhesive, I'm using my Crystalac glitter glue. I'm gonna start with the handle, just adding a very thin layer, and then I'm gonna go in with my glitter. I'm using Hella Cute from PDB. So I'm gonna put that all over the handle, and then I'll repeat the exact same process for the bottom of the cup. Once I had all of my glitter applied, I'm gonna go right in and remove all of my tape immediately. And then I'm gonna take some rubbing alcohol on a paper towel and just wipe off anywhere that might have a little bit of spray paint overspray on it, anywhere that I might've gotten paint on unintentionally. I'm just gonna clean it right up with some rubbing alcohol, get rid of any of that glitter that might be floating around where it's not supposed to be, and just clean the cup up. I'm gonna let this dry for two hours and then I'm gonna spray the cup with a coat of matte clear spray to seal my glitter in. And then I'm gonna go in with another coat of epoxy. I let that coat cure about three hours and then I went in with a second coat. This coat is pretty thin. I'm really just using it as an adhesive for this extra little glitter we're gonna sprinkle in. So I've got Jojoba from Peachy Olive Glitters, Basic White Girl also from Peachy Olive Glitters, and then I'm grabbing Blue Lagoon from PDB. And I'm gonna take a little bit of each of these glitters and just sprinkle them all over my cup just to add a little bit of extra sparkle. You guys know I love that. I just wanted to add a little bit of extra something on top of this vinyl to really just zhuzh it up a little bit. So that was Basic White Girl that I just put on there and then I'm taking jojoba next and I'm just sprinkling it really randomly. You can do as much or as little of this as you want to. You can even skip this stuff if you wanted to. Um, and then finally going in with Blue Lagoon, just doing a little tiny bit of that in a few little areas. So then I'm gonna let this cure and then I'm going to add another coat of epoxy on top of this to seal my glitter in and make sure everything is smooth for our decal application. Now when you're deciding to put a decal on a mug, it really just depends which hand you like to hold your mug in or where you want the design to face or which side of the design you like better. Sometimes I'll just pick like, I like this side of the cup better. So I'm gonna put the decal on the other side to cover that up. So that's kind of what I did here. I just picked whichever side of the cup I liked better and then I put the decal on the other side. So for the decal, we're going to use this one that says, you are enough. I feel like this is a reminder that we all need to hear daily, you are all enough just the way you are. So I did create this decal, it's available in my SVG shop, and I wanted to make it large enough so that it would fit the entire length of the cup. And I cut it out of white vinyl. This vinyl has a clear backing. It makes placing decals so easy. So what I'm doing is basically just making sure that the decal is going to be centered when you're holding the cup and then it's gonna like look right when the cup is in your hand. And then I'm going to place it down on my cup using my scraper tool to make sure everything is well stuck to the cup. And then I'm gonna pull back my transfer tape. And then I'm gonna go in with another coat of epoxy. This is a thin coat just to seal the decal in. And now what I'm gonna do is add a little bit of zest to our decal. So I'm using Shape Tape from Artistry Epoxy and I cut out the inside of the letters, um, those varsity letters with the Shape Tape and now I'm going to individually glitter each letter um, to give them a little bit of sparkle. So starting with the E, I'm using Valley Girl 
And then I'm gonna go through basically just the little neon rainbow I've got here. I've got Callisto, Glow Stick, Mojito, Pavo, and Drama Llama, all from PDB. And I'm just gonna go through individually and glitter each of these letters. Um, I cut them at my regular vinyl setting to make sure that the cut was deep enough to cut through the top layer and the adhesive layer so that we could individually pull these letters out and place them on our cup. So once all my letters are glittered, I'm going to place them one by one by hand. I'm going to carefully peel the letter out with my tweezers here. I wouldn't recommend using transfer tape or trying to weed this like a regular decal unless you cut it deep enough. Um, I didn't cut mine quite deep enough. I probably could have added a little bit more depth or pressure in my cut settings, but it was cut enough for me to very carefully, as you can see here, kind of get it out from that backing. Um, and then just place it down right in the middle of my white vinyl that I've already placed, just using my tweezers, trying to get it as lined up and as perfectly placed as I can. So I'm gonna go through and just place all of these letters one by one, and then we will move on to the next step. Once I've got all my letters placed, I'm going to seal the cup with a coat of matte clear spray from Rust-Oleum, and then I'm going to add two coats of epoxy over my glitter letters. I want to make sure that they're totally smooth because I am going to add another layer on top of this decal. I'm going to add another white outline to the top. This is the same decal that we used on the bottom. Um, I'm just going to add it onto the top so that our letters have a really nice clean finish to them. So I'm just gonna go in, and I'm gonna add these letters two by two. I really just wanna make sure everything is lined up properly. And you guys know I like to break things into the smallest little step possible. So I'm gonna go ahead and outline all of these letters. And once I've got them all on, I'm going to spray the cup again with a coat of matte clear spray. And then we will go into our final coats of epoxy. So once the final coats were on and cured, this cup is all finished. So here's the final result. I'm really, really happy with how this turned out. I'm definitely gonna do this glittered letter decal trick again. I really like the look of it. I hope you guys do as well. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to hit that thumbs up button down below and make sure you're subscribed to my channel so you don't miss any of my new videos. I upload brand new Tumblr tutorials every single week. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate it. You guys are the best and I will see you in my next video. Okay. Love you. Bye. One more time. What is this happening here? Come on. Come on, little guy. I believe in you. A. Ah! Social media group. My social media group. I always do that. I go. Here. All right. Whatever. Bye. Bye.